what emotion, what a blockbuster opening match in the World Cup of Pool. When the draw was made, on paper, this looked like being the best contest, and he gets us underway. That was a rousing reception for the Spanish lads. Will there be an overload of emotion, I wonder? They're up against a very talented pairing, the Filipinos, 25 to 1 to win this tournament with the bookmakers. If that isn't value, I don't know what is. Team Spain wins the lack. Yeah, absolutely, Phil. And of course, Spain, the defending champions, start off our 2023 World Cup. But like you said, a very difficult first match. And Thank you, you know, Steve. Another first thing that's kind of difficult Team Spain is to break. we're going right to new felt. You know, after the players have played all week in the Spanish Open, so they got to make some adjustments. Yeah, this is a very different table to the one that was in centre stage for the Spanish Open. It's a, a wonderful Rasson piece of equipment. The Rasson table is used for all of Matchroom's team pool, including the Moscone Cup. I kind of like leveling out here. He's going to hit it with a draw stroke. Really clean there, Phil. That was off the sweet spot. Yeah, and if you've ever really watched it, I think David shows it a little more than Fran, but David gets very nervous for Fran as well. Kind of like a parent watching their child. This is going to run underneath the eight a little bit. So they got to make a decision here early. Probably keeps it pretty simple. Just coming three rails towards the right middle with the cue ball. This from al -Qaedi to get Spain off to the ideal start. Hear the roar, hear the roar. Get used to it if Spain have a deep run in Lugo. They draw first blood in a first round contest that could be a final. That will do nicely, Jeremy. Yeah, that was a really just perfect timing. Cue ball came back into the nine ball and see how good the, or how well the ball spread. That'll always show you. Funny position here, just because the nine ball don't really think they can come back short side on the eight so easily. So he's got to come two rails above the nine. Looks like he has a little bit of an angle. May have to draw the cue ball back kind of underneath him where he's standing and then back out. A little bit of angle there, though. If ever winning a rack on this kind of stage under this kind of home expectation is routine, that was it. Kind of deliberate what are the options really well. Like Fran was saying, to double bank that ball and hold him behind the six where David's a little more comfortable maybe moving the four underneath the nine and then coming behind the purple like this. Yeah. 
And doubles is such an interesting dynamic because of different types of techniques and styles and whatnot. But I think the main one is Extension you really cold. don't want to let your partner down. So you can feel a little extra pressure at times. First look at James Aranis. Oh, well played, the old Filipino weapon. The kick and almost stick. First look at James Norris, as Jeremy said, but also our first look at Aranas's cue. He didn't use it last week. It didn't arrive on the airport carousel, so had to borrow the cues of Johan Chua when he was playing in the Spanish Open. He'll be delighted to be Reacquainted. Yeah, absolutely. And Fran couldn't get a lot of speed on that kick shot coming that direction just because he had to add, add some side. And you think about, you know, which teams do what the best between, you know, the field, right? Like you might say. So far, Spain has broke the balls really well. But you might say Shane and Skyler break the balls best. You know, this team does that best. Matthias Maximus marched into town, and those Roman walls remain intact to this day. Yeah, pretty nice break off from James. A little bit of a kiss on the cue ball into the nine. We'll see that. Time and time again this week. At first glance, looks like it's impeding both the six and the seven, but I think there is just enough room. Well, both teams have come prepared. Just about to see the scores all level up. Two Philippines. A break and run out from Spain in the second rack. A break and run out from the Philippines in the fourth. It's easier to have some judgment on some things, and I'm not sure what he's doing here really. Oh, really good. Really good. And how accurate has Fran been so far? I mean, if he shoots that two into the purple and loses accuracy, the two comes loose somewhere and possibly straight, some kind of straight-in shot and trailing three to two. With scotch doubles, you can have a very small number of shots. And when it's your turn, you need to be ready. The extension, please. I was happy to see that Elliot is getting another chance for Great Britain. After what did he get? One shot last year, or something like that. Oh man, Philippines! They got some sleep last night. I'll tell you that they're playing well. That was definitely by design. Great t shirts I think, for the Filipino pool players to wear. We can kick, because they most certainly can. Yeah, real first. Pretty unreal. Oh, man. You know, sometimes we talk about the beeps, right, at the five seconds. And occasionally, it can really help you, right? You just go ahead and pull the trigger and you don't think. And what a shot David came with there. Almost the pool gods scuppered it. Thankfully, the cue ball just caught that near point of the side pocket. Come on. 
Would that have dropped late on in the Spanish Open? You have to seriously question it. I think he was concerned as the the seven ball was going towards the pocket, but in the end it fell in comfortably. As you said, Jeremy, right at the start, day one. Even there, we saw that one have a bit of a rattle and cue ball's going to stop just in time. And both those balls, the seven and the eight, just give it a day or two. They probably stand up here as well. Cue ball and object ball close together, which adds a layer of difficulty. But not too difficult for FSR. Spain back in front. They lead 4-3 and... ...being very vocal with each other and deciding options. Watch out, nine ball. Oh, my. I don't think the kiss shot is there. I think they would have to hit the two too thin and it still would send the nine into the bottom rail. But what I was going to get at is... You know, they're speaking Spanish, right? So you got Spain B, who would certainly understand. But if you're talking about a lot of options and you're going to take on the shot. Extension, please. You know, Team Philippines actually understands Spanish for the most part. Most of the people from the Philippines, the players with the Spanish descent. Going for the bank here, maybe. It's going to come back down. Now, how far is the question? Looks like it's going to serve up a shot. Without being too harsh, that was the weakest shot of the match. Yeah, just caught it too thick. Wanted to actually go for the long rail bank and try to play the cue ball long on the three, maybe a backdoor safety. Now, the good thing for Fran here, if he cuts at this, it looks like the three has got the path of the scratch kind of covered up. And normally when you're on Newfeld, especially... He's been in a slump. Of course, the shot clock never a hindrance for Sanchez Ruiz, who plays at a very brisk pace. Team Spain wins the race. It all started with David Alcady's jump to pop the two in rack six. That's a bit dicey. Definitely has some angle. Now, out here on the new slick felt, the ball's cut a little easier, so. Got to stay heavy on this. Oh, he stayed too heavy. And you could tell just the timing was off on the swing a bit, and I think they solved a big problem also, moving the red three a little. Really good cueing. They may end up Team Philippines it's taking on this shot and going offensive with a long rail bank on the one. They've been conversing in Spanish, of course, but the universal language of pool. They turned to the referee, Marcel Eckhart, and said, push. I think that was the sensible thing to do in those circumstances. There he is. Absolutely terrific official in both pool and snooker. Yeah, I like the push out. Just, you know, you got to gamble playing nine ball. That's how it is. Things Team Spain, please play again. are going to be funny sometimes, but you don't want to take on maybes when you don't have to. And that opening shot was a little dicey and 
I'll tell you, they may attack here, and I'm really shocked. If you, you know, if you don't like a safety, that's one thing, but I kind of like the bank. Very surprising to me that I, I thought the Philippines would take that shot on. And in some circles, that length of table bank has come to be known as an al Qaeda because he knocked in the nine length of table on a bank to win his second World Masters at the expense of Alexander Kazakis. I think he's going to go offensive. He's going to come two rails below the five balls on the bottom of the table. Ooh. Ooh, little body movement there. The two missed again by FSR. Man. Both the Filip Filipino players, very good jumpers of the ball. Extension called. Now, I've always felt the Rassen jumps a little easier. So with nerves going, this could get very, very airborne. Uh, perfectly struck. <laughs> Couldn't hit that any better if you weren't jumping the ball. Pink in that right middle is, so. We talk about with the tight pockets, of course, how tough the sides always are. A little more comfortable shooting in the corners, but. Uh, the four is definitely playable on the sides. Main thing here, stay off the... Oh, my. Now, that was discernibly bad queuing. Yeah, you kind of saw the shoulder go with it. It's hard to tell in the slow-mo, but definitely dropped the back elbow very early. Yeah, and something you don't see from James very often. Extension called. I tell you, I like David shooting this shot, and not just because of, you know, France had a miss or two. David very good from distance with the draw or stun. Either one's a playable shot here. I think he's got to draw the ball. He's going to go forward. Got to get a lot into this. Similarities between that and the previous shot, the shoulder was involved. Yeah, absolutely. Just looking at the scoreboard, not for confirmation of how it sits, but for how many seconds he's got in hand. Several. Team no Philippines. mistake from Johan Chua. Spain, the defending champions, have their backs pressed firmly against the wall. The Filipinos... Will I think they'll be happy to know they're going to get back to the table with what most likely is going to be a kick shot of some sort. Uh, he wants to use the seven to stop the red three. Took a little gamble there, but I think it was definitely the best play. You would think he's going to kick two rails off the right long rail to the top rail and then at the three. This is also where the extension called. The new felt makes things hard to judge. Extension please off by the Philippines as well. Thanks. 
Y él la puedo tirar por aquí también, aseguro, Carla, pero es que es muy difícil. Si you'd like to go one rail at this ball and really try to make it, but I think the brown seven is causing problems with that option. Should be two cushions. Got a chance to still make it. Doesn't want to hit the bottom side of it, though. Could scratch. A collective groan went around the bleachers. Yeah, and with the other balls there, there were some possibilities, but also... Well, you got to like what Johan did there, because there was a funny angle to draw for that ball, and knowing your partner, he said, don't worry, just lay me underneath this, I'll make it. It's the fault of Carl Boys. He drew the Philippines against Spain. He'll need security to get back to the hotel if this result goes the wrong way. And the Philippines, like I said, if Spain B goes on to win, Philippines would play them in the second round if they go on to get out here with three balls left. They just kind of laid up. Didn't want to make a big mistake, trusting his partner. We all know they're a dangerous team, right, Phil? But what about after getting some confidence in the opening match, match here? Superb eight ball met with stony silence. It is sunny outside, and the reign of Spain is over. The defending champions bow out in the first round. Went out in the first round then. If they pass up many more chances like that, they will go out in the first round again. But early days. Yeah, but this is an absolute glorious chance. Cue ball needs to slow down a little bit. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Well, you said, Carl, at the start that a lot would depend on Saeed. By far the least experienced of the four. And he passed up an opportunity. Greece have extracted full price. And they lead Singapore 1-0 yeah, in this first round match. Experience winning at least once. Oh, big mistake there from Nikos. They were looking good. That's in the same category as the ball that Team Singapore missed in the opener. Slightly jacking up, so he's going to play this ball a little firmer. That's arguably the best shot we've seen so far in the early stages of this contest. Similar narrative to the first two racks, both instances. One team has had an unexpected miss. And the other has exploited it to the full. So Singapore draw level. Not one all. I think most of the teams will probably just discuss the options. There's not many options in this instance. Sure. Well, oh, I'm going to say he's got to be a bit careful. Oh, 
because the cue ball was just going to nudge the two Start clusters. Hurriedly assembled plans there, but well executed ones. Alosis Yap, best known for getting to the final of the US Open two years ago. Okay, well, the Greeks return to their chairs looking happy with what they'd done. Lucius Yap has found a way out of the puzzle they set. Tough shot coming up. Oh, well, very nicely done. And that'll send a message. Southeast Asian Games doubles gold in Kuala Lumpur in 2017 and a bronze at the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama just last year. That's an event like the Olympics for sports which have Olympic recognition but aren't yet in the Games. Now, has he got awkward queuing or is he okay? Yeah, it's just about okay, so this makes this shot a little easier. Okay, so the cue ball's come up a little short. And potentially a very big moment here. Greece haven't taken a rack since the opener. So Singapore can be more than halfway to victory here, or Extension. they Extension. can be back to only one ahead. So a huge amount resting on this shot, and I think he'd still back Yap all day long. But he would have preferred something a bit easier than this. No problem though. That's four racks in a row for Singapore. Their second yeah, break Singapore and run already the in the match. There's a lot of undercover pool players over in that part of the world. Oh, that is unforgivable. How costly is this going to be? And he's not going to feel good walking back. Usually you're walking back on your own. Now he's got to listen to his teammate. Look at that, fired it into the rail. Yeah, when you compare that to the previous shot he had played, and he looked like he'd really settled and very much at home. So Greece have got to make this count now. If they'd have any hope, really, you would think of turning this one round. The other side of that, of course, is you have someone there in the chair to G up, give a pat on the back. That's the role the app is in now. But no two ways about us. If Singapore end up losing this match, it will be many a long day before Saeed forgets that miss. I think he's just going to roll out to a jump shot. Yeah, that's what he's got. To do. So I'm not sure how good Sharik is with the jump cue because Yap can't play because he's left-handed. Yeah, so Sharik has got the jump cue, so he fancies this one. Well, they tried this a few racks ago. They have to jump shot, and it ended up costing them the rack. Chance to make up for that really bad miss on the six. Previous rack. Oh, could have made himself feel a bit better if that shot had worked out. Instead, he's now going to feel a whole Start lot worse. Point, yeah, the pot was always easy. The art of that shot was always going to be controlling the cue ball. 
discomfort of Sharik Saeed. Not so much because of what happened in this rack when he scratched off the jump shot, but that shocking miss. And Singapore were closing in on 5 1. Wants this to bounce off the rail a bit. Yeah, it's not the easiest of shots, this now. Because you always feel like you should have been straight in on it. Just a, a tap in. So look, there you see, queuing off the rail. It's another missed pot from Nikos Economopoulos. And all of a sudden, that miss on the six looks a little less important because a rack later than they might have expected. Singapore have now made it to five. You know, look anywhere else but the floor. But they're still in a match here, and they've got cue ball in hand. Foul shot. Ball in hand. Some of the two previous racks that Yap had broken Start in this open. match. Singapore ran out from them. Very much the opposite this time. Overall, he's potted the ball OK. Yeah, he missed that silly six ball. But this is a chance to get his confidence back up and he's missed it. And he's missed it by a long way. So Singapore are helping Greece out here and helping him out a lot. Look at this one. Well, Singapore will be very aware. They're really could have won this match by now, or at the very least been on the hill. But Greece have kept doing just enough to stay in it with a bit of help from their Greece opponents. And that's two in a row for them. They're only one behind now. 5-4 to Singapore. They've only got 20 seconds left to play the shot, though. Playing it this way forward with a high ball. Well, I don't know why he was attempting there. Indeed, but we can safely say it wasn't that. I can only presume he was going for the bank shot in the corner. Breaking the heart of Mark so Beisterbosch, winning the last three that. racks to take it in a decider. Has he got the treble? He was playing the bank into the bottom left. I said team of your side. Well, Michael, this rack has been amazing. We've seen it all. This is just, this is just drama. At its finest. This is difficult. Well, it was such a tussle on the eight, and there was a feeling, okay, whoever can get this ace, that's going to be the key moment of the rack. But we hadn't banked on the cue ball finishing like this. But in the end, the eight has been followed with the nine. Foul shot. Wow. Ball in hand. 
Greece are still in Start this the match. Practice. They have a chance to tie it up. First match of the day was a close one. This has been a close one. Ten times easier. So it's this nine ball. Somehow, hill hill. Well, you could see the tension there. Kazakis practically back. flinging his entire body at us. He wanted that nine ball down and off the table so much. He cost Mr. Nine Ball in this very pocket earlier on. And he's just missed a three ball in the same pocket. Yeah, missed it on the other side this time. Going high. Yeah, finished well below the pocket with the nine earlier, but other side this time. Yep, again, let's come to the rescue. Hit that very sweet. Yeah, and this is the beauty of team play, isn't it? And the dynamics within a team. If it had been a situation where Yap was at the table on his own there, I think he'd have fancied him to run out. But question marks over whether Saeed can play his part. He's played well at times and come with some good shots during the match, but Saeed has always had that mistake in him. He's made... I've had three or four particularly disappointing ones. Yeah, and if they get to the nine ball, it will be Yap playing the nine ball. Because where the nine ball's situated, it might not be a guaranteed nine. It could be a little tester. Well, what is Nikos Economopoulos? thinking as he sits in the chair the match there's been a lot of mistakes they've held on they've dug there they got it back to hill hill and what a chance they had to win well we said it a couple of racks ago didn't we it had long since developed into a contest where so much had happened on both sides that whoever lost was going to come away with a huge amount of regret So in all probability, Sharik Saeed's last shot of the match. His last challenge is to leave a nice nine for his partner. Yeah, it's a little bit weird though, because he can only really go forward. Yeah, he's done well there. Yeah, best outcome he could have hoped for, really. The holders are out, but the nation they meet in last year's World Cup final are into the last 16. And how appropriate that Yap, by far the most competent performer on show in that match this afternoon. for a safety behind the red three. I don't know. Playing. Wow. Canada wins the match. Well, 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 what a start that was. Fooled us all. Look at this. Two into the nine. Bush, bash, bosh. One nil. Yeah, well, many consider... It was worth missing the break off for. Oh dear me though, there was a lot of movement on that one. Lots of movement. 
Yeah, with the new felt as well. And what happens is the balls just cut a little easier if you're not conscious of it. Just certain shots can fool you. Our first look at Myanmar, though. These two can play. Yeah, very clean start through the rack. Nice crisp strikes of the cue ball. Never in doubt, the three ball was missed by Alex Pagulayan. Fast strike. Yeah, and I was wondering about the break shot. A little thin on the one and... Kind of reminded me of Roberto Gomez right there, really raising the back arm and the body a lot. Ball in hand. Take on a little longer shot for the corner. I kind of feel like he's going to come back. That's the other thing about the new felt, the ball will draw a little easier. Misses now for Hall of Famer Alex Pagalin. And it's a little more surprising on that one than the three ball to me, anyways. Don't think he was that upset about the three, really. Just like I said, the ball's cut a little easier at times. And that eight ball, though, is a bit of a different story. And now for their first lead. Myanmar wins the round. Myanmar picking up the pieces. Seven ball. Oh, sorry, says Alex Pagulain with no sincerity whatsoever. Well, bring up one in a moment that I saw. I think it was yesterday and kind of made me laugh. Nice clean hit there. Should be just a stop shot there on the eight. Canada in the back. Mora reliable so far. Knocks in the nine ball that gets Canada back on level terms. Somewhat of a frenetic start to this match. It's 2-2. Watch out, a quick winner maybe here if they want to take it. We'll get a look, a better look at this. Now they do have a good shot at the one, but Dry break from Alex Pagalin and I'll tell you you can't blame them one bit if they try to get the quick win with the combination. Looks like he probably plays this rail first, driving the one into the side cushion. Players feel a little more comfortable doing that. Probably draws the cue ball back for a hair of safety, maybe. No, looks like he's just gonna play the nine. Canada out of their chairs, gratefully. Yeah, that double kiss happens a lot, knocks that nine in, but again, the Rassen with the deep shelves. Ronnie O'Sullivan, we're talking about the snooker player. He's brilliant left-handed. He's made a 147 that way, but 
he doesn't quite have the same amount of Q power left-handed as right. All right, looks like he's taken on the cut. Maybe the bank, but looks like the cut. Uh, that wasn't even close either. So again, foul strike. Players will never aim that poorly, right? It's all about the timing of the swing, and it's been a little off for Alex Pagalan at the moment. In a situation like this, they say you should never say sorry. Pagalan must be tempted. He's having a nightmare. That was a poor effort. He's got a very lengthy Q action, which is quite soy. And I just didn't fancy him for that. Yeah, I talked about his pre-strokes. His pre-strokes, uh, when you kind of have those heavy pre-strokes, it really sets up to sometimes desail on the ball on the final swing. I think that's what we saw there. And John has looked picture perfect so far. Yeah, unlike his partner. And despite the, wins the problems encountered by Paggy Lyon, incredibly, Canada are 5-2 ahead. Came in, I believe, late Saturday, early Sunday morning. Oh, and that's another one you cannot, you know, just totally know. You just got to experience of the slick tail just makes you realize the ball draws very easily. That's how to fracture a friendship. This is one of those matches that you can't quite believe the scoreline. It's going to be 6-2. How on earth? Yeah, it was, again, some safeties that Canada overcame. Some misses they got away with. Canada now, wins the match. A chip in nine ball. He's saying, oh boy. Yeah, I don't blame him after the performance he's put in. But how ironic it would be if Paggy Lyon, after encountering so many issues, should knock in the 5-9 combination to seal it. Yeah, and he's drawing the cue ball back for a little safety. You know, this one lays nice. I like his chances. Never in doubt. It's a catch of... Oh, Canada, and oh dear, Myanmar, 7-2, the final scoreline.